पीयूष आज के बना चाहे एक मैक्सिकान रेसिपी गोका मोली आईटा सैंडविच दिए खेते खूब भालो है इखाने लाग बे दुटो एवाकाडो एक टा प्याज को एक टा काचा लौंग का एक टा लेबू टमेटो एक टा ऑलपो धुने पता आल लाग बे ऑलपो शोषे तेल आर इटा उड़ा आश्चर्य ऑलिव ऑयल यूज़ करे तो आम्रा बांगली जीव तो हमारे शोषे तेल टा भालो लगे आर लाग बे नून that can stay there. Just putting everything to the side. So you need a ripe avocado. Just cut it in half. Avocado ta ekdom soft hota hobe bhete re. Taale ita kuch bhalo mashed hota parbe. Yeah. And since this is ripe, you know it comes off. And so all you gotta do is just squeeze it in there. I'll still come back with a spoon. Careful with the knife because you don't want to cut yourself. Simple as that. Let me just get a spoon real quick. So you want to get all the avocado. So I think it's called dhone pata. Dhone pata. Dhone pata. Okay. Coriander leaves. Yeah. अपन एक लोग के तो भालो को चॉप करने में से. I don't have the best knife skill. The pious recipe, right? Yeah. I mean that's what I expect. I don't think it's like the real like um, Mexican guacamole because I know they have different styles. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's either way is good. I like it. You just take all that. You just dump it in there. Next is just the tomato. You know, just dice it up. That's all you need. Tomato, hello, good. Chop, good. Nice. Hector, fill in. Yeah, later. So you just take all of that. Finger dig there. Yeah. Should I knife down though? No. Tomatoes are just soft, you know. You just go over the big pieces, like if, if there are any, and you just like you know, make them to smaller pieces, I guess. Because they're gonna get all mashed up in, in anyway, so like you don't need too small, just diced up. Okay. Um. Oh, mm -hmm. I forgot. I forgot about the other avocado. My bad. <laughs> you just go around it because there's a seed there. It's kind of like mango when you're cutting a mango up. You see. This is, this is all you need. When they're ripe, you re usually don't need a spoon. But look at that. Came out full. That's all you need. And look, when they're ripe, the seed will like just pop off, pop off like that. And you know, you can just go over the avocado like this around it. And the whole, boom, simple as that. Okay, ready. Um, Mommy, the onion. Onion. Uh, yeah, you can cut it actually. <laughs> I don't want to cut my hand. My well, moms are the professional in cutting, so. <laughs> and this one you want it to be fine diced, nothing too big. So that's like a medium sized whole onion. Cause we like to have onion in our guacamole.
This is why I don't like cutting on the end. That's why I don't like mom do it. I know, that's why you give it to me. <laughs> I hate cutting onion. It just hurts the eyes so badly. And she just want um, fine dice. Okay, check your onions. Dump it into the thing. Preparing for college, right? Yeah, you gotta learn. I know how to make cha right now. Like the Indian Bengali style cha with like milk. Um, grab everything. Yeah, that's all the onions. Um, Next thing is the green chili, uh, Thai chili peppers. Um, finger dig bit. Yeah, always be careful of the finger when cutting. Because you never want to go too fast. And when cutting, you always want to keep the finger like this. So in case it does slip, it's not cutting into any of your flesh. And you're just cutting the thing that you're cutting. I learned that from watching a YouTube video of, of Gordon Ramsay. Gordon Ramsay? Yeah. Because, I don't know, when I get bored in YouTube, like at home, I just go on YouTube and watch stuff. And when I was, like, like I guess little, kind of, like I would also watch like cooking stuff. And like Gordon Ramsay would always sh uh, show up. So, yeah. I mean, he's an iconic chef. So, what can you say? So, depending on your spice tolerance, you can um, choose to add no chilies or, like, add chilies. Less Dep chilies. Yeah, less chilies or more chilies if you like. I think for our family, it's just, like... Perfect. It's like, yeah, four or five is good. Because we like spicy food. Don't worry, it's fine. Uh, I'll wash my hands, don't worry. Okay. Next thing you know, yeah. And then to keep the guacamole fresh, um, the avocados at least, you just take one lime. And that's it. Hmm. Take the other one. What I like to usually do is just like puncture it a little bit because you see it's like tight kind of. So like it releases the juices. So like it's easier to squeeze. And once you squeeze, we'll both that. And then. Shut up. No, I'll do it. Huh? Yeah. We'll do everything. Shut up. Yeah. So. Salt as taste, as per taste. As per taste, one mm. teaspoon for like two avocados though, not one avocado obviously. Um, and that's, um, I'm actually gonna add just a, a tiny bit, a little bit more. Cause the tomatoes and everything, the water and stuff like that, like they absorb it and like it's not as, as salty. Um, so yeah, so that's why we add like one and a half teaspoon. Um, so shoshotel or also known as sesame oil. Mustard oil. Yeah, mu oh yeah, sorry, uh, mustard oil. Uh, that's one. Two, three, three like caps. So that's probably a, a teaspoon also. And and you're gonna say like how to smash all this? You literally just need a, a fork. So you just need a fork and you just start smashing. And mix it. Full avocado. You see the tomatoes are getting small because they're just getting smashed. Everything's getting incorporated. And the fork helps with it because like, you know, the space in between each of them and they used to break the avocado. So you just keep smashing until everything's mixed. Yummy. Yeah, and you can have this with toast, especially. I mean, at least here in um, like there's a trend where like they go like they put on toast, and usually we say Californians eat it because you know they're like the trendy type of people, I guess, or like the viscos, or like you know vegans. And that's what that's what we mean. California has a lot of vegan people, so that's why. And vegan people just have only plant plant diet 
So, okay. yeah, they don't even have eggs, milk, nothing, none of that. The only milk that they have is um, oat milk or soy milk, something like that. So, yeah, that's what vegans are. See? Almost done, right? Yeah, it's, I mean, it's done. Simple as that. And obviously, if you need more salt, add more salt. If you need oil, the oil just actually helps just, to, you know, to make it smooth and creamy, I guess. That's it. But yeah, you don't you don't want to add too much oil, then it's gonna overpower it. But yeah, salt is just to your um, liking, I guess. And yeah, that's how you make um. It's uh, done. Our guacamole. Today's guacamole is done. Yeah. Ready to serve. Looks so yummy. Yeah. So this is old whole grain bread. Um, it has also oats in the in the edges. Yeah, it tastes really good. The oats are. Oh, it's our dinner yeah. oh no, it's just avocado toast. That's it. Simple as that. It's a avocado yeah. toast. It's dinner. So you just need. It's literally um, one slice and two slices. It's not a sandwich. You just put the avocado on top of it. We'll, and we'll show you. So we have a toaster right here. Um, it has different settings like you know, bagel defrost and like the settings like for how much you want, like how um, toasted you want. And you want these to be like pretty toasted, not like extremely charcoal to toasted, but like you know toasted enough where it'll be cr crunchy. So yeah, you pull this down. Well, toast is ready. Ready. As you can see, um, actually you can make it a little bit more toast if you want. Um, I'm gonna just do it one more time, okay? Okay, then two to them. Yeah, we're gonna give it a two this time because you don't want double the thing. So two, cause uh, like you know crispy the better. That one's still a little soft. So yeah. The smell of bread it smells so good. Yeah. Here you go. There you go. So you wanted this crispy, right? Don't worry. The color means it's gonna, it's just crispy. It's, it's gonna taste good. Trust me. You want it dark. So you get it like that, right? And let's go go to the guacamole. Okay. So we're at the avocado. See, it's very toasted. It's nice. Let's get your guacamole. Um. You see, you can see the tomato chunks. And it's like very healthy too, you know? So what's that? Get your other avocado toast. Okay, so that's your avocado toast and we're going to bring it to our dad to taste test it, I guess. But yeah. Wow. Hey, Baba. So I made guacamole. And Wonderful. Baba likes it really um, toasted, so that's why it's like, you know. There you go. Black. Excellent. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> well, there you go. That's your Piyush's guacamole. Um, recipe. Yeah, recipe. Uh, yeah. So, so if you like it, please like, share, and subscribe yeah, our definitely. channel. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. So the other one was for Baba. He Baba likes it very toasted. Um, you know, this is ideal. This is number five. Um, in our toaster at least. It's like perfect crispiness, perfect color. And yeah, this one is gonna go to actually Ayush. You know, mommy's recording the video and um and I'm <laughs> serving to everyone. Ayush also loves guacamole. Cause I remember the first time I tried uh, avocado, I did not like it. Like I I vomited, but then you know. You grow onto the taste, and it tastes like really good, cause I, you know, I, I'm mature now. No, they taste it a little bit. Yeah. It's so yummy. And like you see, there's like actual avocado chunks. Like you don't want it, like purely like cream type of thing. You you also want some chunks. Let's go. So yeah, let's go to Ayush. Let's see what. He's doing the little kids thing, you know, in bed. So yes. Yeah, sorry if the house is messy, but you know, yeah. Look at him. <laughs> Ayush. Say hello to the vlog. Hello. <laughs> so we made some avocado toast. You want to try it? Yeah. Well, taste us actually. Not try it, but taste us. It's fine. Get up. <laughs> try it. Hey, what? How do you like it? Let us know. I rate it one out of uh, one through ten. You see how spoiled he is in America? <laughs> He's sleeping in the bed and getting fresh avocado toast. He's lucky. He's living the life. He's a lucky brother. Yeah. It's pretty good. 
I Yo, like pretty it. good. It's good. It's good. Oh, one out of ten. One out of ten. What is it? Eight. Oh, okay. Okay, that's a good. Thank okay, you. I'll take that. I'll take that. Rating. One out. One to ten. Excellent. Out, out of ten. Ten. Okay. Okay. I'll, I'll, that's amazing. Excellent. That's amazing. That's an amazing score. Thank you. Okay. So, you oh, okay. Um, I'm not ready. So, so, look, two avocados, it will like, it's like what? An avocado costs like a dollar twenty-five, a dollar fifty per $2. avocado. Two dollars. Yeah, but if you, I know, like in Chinatown, you can get like amazing deals for like a dollar avocado, and they're also amazing. Um, you know, you can feed the whole family with two dollars, and maybe onion cost one onion costs like. 50 cents, 75 cents, let's say. Tomato costs around that same price. Um, everything like under, around 4 or $5. Yeah, everything under $5 mm. with the bread included and everything. So, what? That's like for one meal, it's amazing. It's fresh too. And in and like, let's say you go to Starbucks, one avocado toast costs $5. And what? With $5, more than that. Yeah, yeah. With tax. More than that. With tax, it's like 6 $7, right? This one, with that same amount of money, you can feed the whole family. Simple as that. Simple so, you test it. Uh, yeah. Obviously 10. 10. <laughs> Obviously 10. I'm the chef. <laughs> what can I say? Thank you. Okay, everyone. Um, have a great day. Good night. And please subscribe and like the video. Go, 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 go.